Well, I think the opportunities of SUDS are to um, enable us to respond to the uh, climate change issues that we're facing. Um, I think that we can also deliver more value in development. I think SUDS are a way of actually reducing the cost of development, uh, new developments. I think that's got to be good news in the present recession. Um, I think also the, uh, the way of reducing environmental impacts, uh, we're not only talking about dealing with climate change uh, and being able to adapt to climate change for new development itself, but also reducing its impacts on, on the already developed areas that we live in. I think there's so many opportunities with um, sustainable drainage. Uh, the primary one is just creating great places, so placemaking through water management is a great opportunity um, and one that really excites people because people love water, they love to be around water, they love to see water and I think by bringing more water into our places, keeping it on the surface, that's such an opportunity. At the same time um, we can deliver really interesting places to be. Um, you can deliver suds in tandem with art strategies, with green infrastructure um, and really create um, more permeability not just of the water type but of the movement of people um, and interest in places um, give places greater legibility through such design. Well I think it's actually to uh, look at both the present uh, issues with drainage but also to consider the future as well that's most important. It's actually all about maybe reconceptualizing water for its true value and I think that's quite uh, central here. We have to look at it as a resource as well as something that we want to drain away. I think the opportunities are sort of manifold in some ways. There are opportunities to meet uh, le European legislation, particularly with the Water Framework Directive and the Floods Directive, uh, and using SUDS to deal with pollution and so on, and to also ensure that we don't get flooding of downstream properties from any development site. I also think that SUDs are a way of uh, delivering multiple benefits to people in living in new development or redevelopment in particular, whereby we can uh, enhance biodiversity, enhance uh, the environment in which they live, um, by using SUDs to deliver multiple benefits within uh, the new communities. I think the way in which that can be done is by getting teams to work together during the planning stage, particularly early on, to ensure that the SUDS features themselves can deliver all of these different sorts of benefits uh, to the new residents within the development. Really, we can do SUDS anywhere. The principle is a philosophy, so it's just a different way of dealing with rainwater. So, in terms of where can we use SUDS, can we use SUDS everywhere? Absolutely, we can do that anywhere. It's just using the right techniques and taking the right uh, approach to the problem. In terms of what's, in a sense, the benefits or um, why we should be doing it, um, it there are loads, and be loads of benefits, really. And um, the first one is that we can see water again, whereas with conventional drainage, water disappears and we never see it again. So, we meet, ex in a sense, we meet the the, the quantity and the quality thing, that's just about making sure that we drain things properly, but the benefits are the things that we get from SUDS, and that's what we're really looking for.